Hey friends! So today we are back in Judge Middleton's courtroom. He is just back from Panama City, Panama. So he was on vacation and this is his very first case back. Uh, as always, I am not an attorney. I'm not putting forth any legal conclusions nor giving any legal advice. All comments are my opinion. All persons are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Except for him. Except for him. Uh, down below, if you want to join my circle of friends, the link is down in the description box. Also is an email if you guys have any cases for me, any who you want, I need to get it. Um, I, go ahead and email me. It's jgurjesskaris at gmail.com. Uh, you can send me a message on Instagram, which is the same as here. So at jesskaris. Um, and then there's also a link for these guys. You know what it's about. Anyways, let's get over to the courtroom. Would you come right up to the podium yes. there? <clears throat> Good morning, sir. Are you Brian F. Christner? I'm sorry. Brian P. No, Brian F. Christner. Yeah. That's yes. you? That's me. You got a ticket in White Pigeon on January 13th for driving with a valid operator's license. I did. Uh, the White Pigeon Village attorney said there's no offer. He recommends fines and costs only. Normal fine and cost for this offense is $75 fine. Okay. Thank you. And $125 in state costs for a total of $200. You've got an old unpaid ticket from way back in 2009 for no seatbelt. But other than that, you don't seem to owe us any money. So the attorney says he recommends fines and costs only on behalf of the village. The allegation is that on January 13th, you were driving a car in White Pigeon without a valid license. That's a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 90 days in jail and fine of up to $100. Does carry two points. How do you plead to that charge, Mr. Christner? Uh, guilty. Anybody promise you anything to get you to plead to this? No. Nope. Threaten you? <laughs> Or threaten you? Do you understand? No. This applies to everybody. If you do plead to this charge, you will be giving up your right to have a trial in front of a judge or a jury. There will be no trial. Do you understand that? Yes. If you had a trial, you'd have the right to be represented by an attorney. This is a misdemeanor, although a pretty rinky dink one, but it does affect your driving privileges with those two points. Uh, if you could also hire a lawyer of your own choosing, if you wish, or you can simply acknowledge responsibility and get the matter over with. That's what I'd rather do. All right. If you had a trial, you'd have the right to take the witness stand and testify on your own behalf, but you don't have to because you have a right not to testify. And if you did not wish to testify, the judge or jury could not hold your silence against you, and you have the right to be presumed innocent if and until the state was able to prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Understand? Were you driving a car in White Pigeon on January 13th? I was. Where were you going? To my daughter's house. You live right in White Pigeon. Oh, she does. River. Okay, you live down the road. I live in uh, South Bend. Was your license not valid at that time? It's not. I'm in the process of getting it back. Uh, Your Honor, I just got released December 27th. I'm doing 12 years in prison. I'm in the process of trying to get my life all straightened back out. And I, the guy that was driving me was a little tired. He was swerving around. So I took the wheel and shouldn't have. It. All right. Well, that's pretty straight up. Sometimes. My daughter was having trouble with her vehicle is why I went up there. That Where time. were you incarcerated, Michigan or Indiana? Both. Uh, well, it's seven in Michigan and then another six in Indiana. Mm -hmm. Good for you. You got to start somewhere. I'm about six or seven years older than you are, but we're going through life at the same rate. Um, what are you doing now? Right now, I'm trying to get everything figured out. Are you out working somewhere? 
I'm sorry. Are you working somewhere? Not yet, no. Trying to get my license straightened out. Which so I've already been. Yes, I've already passed the written exam. It's just the driving exam that was so far out. I don't do it until the first. I'd already have my license. Hopefully this won't jam you up with Indiana. I can't say that it might make you wait. There's a $75 fine, a $75 crime victim's rights fee, and a $50 state minimum fee. That's $200. Mm -hmm. I give you 30 days to pay that. Can you pay that within 30 days? I hope so. Well, I'll give you a little more. When are you taking the test in Indiana? Uh, on the 1st. Of uh, February? No. Uh, March? Of, uh, yeah, February. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to give you until... February, March 1st to pay this. You also owe me on an old ticket, which could jam you up, 87 bucks on an old unpaid seatbelt ticket from 2009. It was uh, just before I went to prison, which is probably why I haven't had a chance to pay it. You pay it on a credit card. Copy of what that is. Um, yeah. uh, also, just a minute, Jordan. I want to put your address out over YouTube, but I want you to write your current address and phone number on there. Correspond at the end. But I would suggest you pay both of these before you try to get squared away with Indiana, and hopefully you can get on with it. All right, Mr. Christner, good luck. If you need more time to pay that, contact the court. The goal is to get the fine paid, not to put you in jail. All right, do you need this? Nope. You got your advice of rights, and I told them to you again. You're good to okay. go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So I don't know about you, but that that case is kind of heartwarming to me. Um, you know, he's he's paid his debt. I don't know what his charges were, obviously. Um, but here he is out here. He's trying to get his life back together. I really hope he's able to, um, you know, for his sake, for his kid, the sake of his children. Um, so I wish him all the best uh and hopefully he is able to get things straightened around um but i wanted to thank you for joining me today so chima and i will see you guys later